Hello everybody, this is RippleZipple and welcome back to my let's play of Half-Life 2 Episode 2 for the orange box for the Xbox 360. Get out of my way, man. Um, yeah, as you can probably tell, I have a new headset, which in turn means I have a new microphone. And we're going to carry on where we left off at the pivotal moment in which we say goodbye to the gnome. The gnome. That we've carried all this way will finally be gone. He goes in there. Like that. And then we have to say goodbye to Timmy, Pauline, Jedediah, all the various names that Mr. Gnome has been across the way. <sighs> it's a sad situation. Goodbye. And there we are. Achievement unlocked. Little Rocket Man! There we go. How that, That's how you get the Little Rocket Man achievement. Not too difficult. I don't even know what they're talking about. Oh, oh it's that guy! Oh, it's the cool guy with the glasses, with his hipster glasses. Oh, well, now we don't have to worry about the gnome, but I'm kind of sad. I got, I'm kind of sad because, oh, he's in there. I want, I want to see him again, but you can't open the... Oh. Oh, well. Yes. Right, where am I going? Have a look. What? For what? What? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Enough of this. So yeah, my voice quality should be uh, um, better, hopefully. And it makes it much easier for me to be able to hear what's going on, which is epic. Okay, see ya. Yeah, 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 I've got it. Whatever. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, God, that guy's boring. Okay. Where are we going? Presume we're going here. Press the lift button. Tra -la 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 -la. I'm going to keep recording now until I complete the game. But yeah, as you can tell, my headset was flaring up the past um, for a bit, so I had to use a different microphone for the past couple of episodes. And it wasn't nice uh, quality, which you probably noticed and were annoyed at me for, but it should be m hopefully better today. I hope so. Anyway. And I look forward to hearing the stuff. Ah! What the what? What what what? In the butt? In the butt? What? Okay. Enough. Further unauthorized use of the emergency overlies will be dealt with. Done. Open. Would you open? Oh, it's that guy. It's one of them. It's the awesome people. Well met indeed. Now open the door, would you? Go on. Cheers, babes. How's it going? With your little chest hands. Oh, this reminds me of Squibs. Good old chest hands. Ah, so, how are you? I'm pretty good today. I mean, um, yesterday, I did nothing. Um, why did I say yesterday? Um, in two days, in approximately 36 and a half hours, I will get my exam results, which is, uh, which is fun. So then I can uh, cry myself to sleep. Uh, tomorrow night. <sighs> so that's for oh my god! What I didn't what what I pressed why what a, what what's happened? All right, all right, all right. I've only just I've just fought my way across the bloody world to get here, and then you're just all like oh, there's a little, a little alarm, and I can't I can't stay concentrated. Blah blah blah, Freeman. It's like yelling at me as if I'm a lesser man than him. I've just carried a gnome all the way here from like. Really far away. Oh dear. Go on, crawl for it. You can make it. Come on. Oh. Okay. I didn't know how pain had a sound. I love how they put that in a subtitle like Asterix Pain Asterix. Oh, this makes a change. There's never a breach while I'm here. Why does it every time I press a code on there, it just comes error? Right. How, where do I go now? 
I'm so confused. Why do I? How did I? Why do I? What? 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 Error. I can't remember where to go. Um, error. 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 Um, um, I'm probably missing something really obvious here. Okay, seriously, where do I go? Oh. Oh. This is more like it, a little crawl duct. Hey, man. Yeah. Okay, All right. Let's get the supply crate. Let's just ignore all the action and just crawl our way to safety, because we're selfish. I'm going to go over this. Away from the fight. Ah, okay. Just saw a Mass Effect, a new Mass Effect 3 trailer before. That was a, uh, that was epic because I cannot wait for that. That. Um, also, I'm going to next month. Me and Miguel Skirt again. Can I go a single episode without mentioning him? I don't think so. We are going. To, I don't. Did I mention this last time? I don't know. We're going to Game Fest. Uh, next month on the Saturday. Which is cool in um, September, September the seventeenth, I believe. Going to Game Fest in uh, Birmingham, which is like a festival. Um, it's not a festival. No, it's like a gaming convention. So that'll uh, that'll be cool. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, we'll get to play all the games, and it'll be great. And how do I, how do I? I'm so confused. How do I get out? So yeah, that's gonna be cool, and I'll get to play. Like Gears of War 3, etc. I believe they're going to be there. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. That's going to be good. That's going to be good. Please die. Thank you for dying. Thank you very much. Take words out of Chugga Conroy's mouth. Thank you very much for dying. Okay. Um, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Go, go. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Go, go. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Uh, oh my god, I fail at just everything. I should not even deserve to... Ah, oh, these things. It's been so long. I've missed you. Look at you. Oh, well, it's a bit hot in here. I'm just going to use you as a fan. Because it's like blowing cold air in my face. That's quite nice. Okay. <clears throat> that was a pitiful attempt at killing me. Might I just say, one of them. Let me guess, I turn this off and then climb up the ladder. That was such a hard puzzle. That was so difficult. <laughs> that was so difficult. And then I fall off. Ah, karma. Irony. Whatever. All of the above. Ah. Uh, just, I launched two grenades then and not a single one hit. Eat turret. Ah. Oh. Ah. A game that I've been playing recently is, well, I've been playing Knights of the Old Republic 2 um, in anticipation for the Old Republic, which I cannot wait for. Um, um, but no, I was playing SWAT 4 before. And SWAT 4 is such a good game, but it's like so... It's so difficult, man. Because, like, it's not even a shooter. It, well, it is, but, like, you don't... The, you're, you, you don't want to kill people. You want to arrest them, but, like, so it's... Ah, oh, it's so difficult because, like, if it's so realistic in the sense that if you take like one sh bad shot, you're just dead instantly. And um, it's oh god, it's uh, it's really good though. I'd recommend you play it, swap for you. Probably get it cheap because it's quite a few years old now. So my brother actually recommended it to me uh, a while ago. I played it quite a few years ago, but I never played it properly because I was quite well. Yeah, because I didn't really sort of give it a chance last time and I didn't really understand the idea and I just kept running in and gunning and that's not what you're supposed to do and yeah ah it's got online co-op I've heard but apparently it's really difficult to find someone online to play co-op with because they're like um, uh, because everyone just goes Rambo on it so that's kind of a bummer but you know it's pretty good. I think you can have up to like ten people co-op, like two two groups of five people, because like on the single player campaign, it's you and like four other guys, and you have to order them around and ah. 
So yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, I feel so weird not having this gnome. I can just like go places. I'm so free. I'm I'm so free, man. <laughs> and yeah, that's cool. So, yes, this is good. We must let's go in the water. Let's go swimming, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go swimming in this clear, gorgeous water. Do do do. I saw that picture actually on um, Hey Lols, which is um, I'm gonna shut some silo doors. Okay, um, which is like uh, with people outside uh, Valve HQ with like uh, cardboard cutouts, um, not cardboard cutouts, like pieces of cardboard that say about how much they want Half Life Three or Half Life Episode Three. Um, and they were saying, is it Left 4 Dead? Like, is Half-Life 3 le um, Left 4 Dead? And, uh, which is a fun joke. And, like, Gabe's, like, sat ne stood next to them, just like, lol. Um, and then the caption thing at the top was like, oh, no. Was, um, did anyone actually ask for Counter-Strike? Because they've announced that they're doing the new Counter-Strike thing, aren't they? With the, the light up. Uh, yeah, Counter-Strike Global Offensive or something, I don't know. Anyway... Anyway, it's a pretty sturdy bridge, that. Um, where are we going? Up the stairs. Usually go upwards. That's my advice. I'll briefly remember this bit. Oh, you guys again. Yes, I've heard everything you've been saying, unfortunately. I wish I had him. What the hell are you doing alive? Oh, is that thing a turret? Oh, it's a little blinding turret, turret thing. So you can black. Anyway, I'm supposed to close some doors or something. And that does it. And now I want to use this thing. Die! Okay. No, still die. I love how they only go up to that side. They're not like at the side opposite. I suppose that's so they can shoot me. But, yeah. They could just like jump down, which some of them did. Oh, it's that guy. Still gonna shoot at him because everyone's apparently Neo in this and can like, well, no, I was gonna say not be affected by bullets, but Neo could be affected by bullets. He could just either dodge them or stop them if he wanted to because he was the one. Because like in the first film, um, which is the only true good Matrix film. Well, the second one's pretty good, but the third one's just... Uh. Anyway, thank goodness you're okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, because he says, um, are you trying to tell me I can dodge bullets? And he's like, well, when, you, uh, when, you, when you're when you ready, you won't have to or something. Something like that. Either way, it's awesome. It's such a good film. It's like all the little references that are like on throughout it, where it's like... Um, where she's like, she tells him you're not the one. She's like, you're not the one. And she's like, maybe, in another life. And then it's because when he dies and then comes back to life. And then that's when he uh, is the one. Sorry for spoiling the film if you haven't seen The Matrix. But if you haven't seen The Matrix, you deserve that punishment anyway. Because what are you doing with your life? Go and watch The Matrix right now. Stop watching this video. Don't even watch this. I don't, you know, just, I don't care. Just go watch The Matrix. That's like so much better than this because the matrix is an epic film right can we go are we going through here come on come on if you would take the freeman from here i can return to my place of honor at the side of the magnet yes i agree that makes sense let's go dr kleiner you know alex you're really bad at dirty talk Open the door. Oh, well, on this loading screen, I think that's a fitting time to uh, end the episode here. So thank you very much for tuning in. This has been Ripple Zipple, and I will see you in a biz. Ugh. Goodbye. That was the creepiest outro ever. All right. Bye.